Well, hello there, YouTube. It's Ro here. Thank you for visiting You Grow Grow. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate it. But you already know that because I tell you every time. And if this is your first time, I hope you consider subscribing at the end of this video. Well, today, y'all, I'm finally getting around to starting some of those vinegars I was supposed to start, what, three, four weeks ago? <laughs> Who's keeping track, right? I mean, I was sick for a while, and then I was busy, and now uh, it turns out I went and got all the groceries to do the different vinegars. Well, my roomie, uh, I guess I should have put like my name on it or something because he drank all of my <laughs> um, grape juice. I was going to make a vinegar from grape juice. That's gone. I was going to try to do one from um, something else, but that's been eaten. And so... We're just gonna scavenge the fridge and try to put something together. Some of the ingredients are still there, but I'm not going back to the store. We just gonna use what I got. So let's see what we can make. It's gonna be six different flavors. Are you ready? I certainly am. Let's do this. <laughs> to all that I want you guys to know all of these are new flavors to me I haven't tried these before so these are you're coming along with me to see how it turns out right alrighty for this first vinegar I'm just gonna take some peppers off this ristra break it up put them in my jar and then add my sugar and water sugar here what is this Let's see if I can show you Florida crystals cane raw cane sugar organic <clears throat> I got my measuring cup um because I don't know how much sugar hot peppers have in it so I'm just gonna go with a whole quart cup quarter cup of where is it cane sugar there it is If you put too much sugar in at the beginning, you run the risk of um, messing up your your ferment too. Oh. All right. Now, well, I should have just left that top off. I'm going to add some water. Well, you know what? I'm looking at this, and honestly, this is not a lot. <sighs> what do you guys think? Should I add more? Look at that I don't know I think I should add the whole ristra don't you maybe not but I'm gonna I don't know I'm gonna add some more rock with that. Let's go ahead and do this, do this. I probably could leave those stems in, but I just took them out. No real reason why. They could stay in. 
Okay. All those seeds in there. Alrighty. So there we have it. Now let's add some water. <clears throat> like before, we're gonna go with tap water. I got my coffee filter here. I just need a wide mouth jar ring. What you got? Okay, let's do this. Let me dry it off. Wait, you know what? I want to shake it up. I'm going to put this cap on and shake it up. All right, that ought to do it. Look at that. Not a whole lot in there, huh? Looks good though. Oh, it's pretty, if nothing else. Okay. So now I'll just dry it off. On the edge and on the top here. All right. Where all that gets down in there. You go, you go, you go. <laughs> okay, and then I'll take my coffee filter, my white mouth lid, or I'm sorry, ring. Boom. Santa Fe Ristra vinegar is now ready to go. Well, it started at least. All right, here now we're gonna do the garlic herb. Uh, for the herbs, we're gonna use my homegrown stuff, homegrown, home dried. I'm doing parsley, oregano, and um, basil. I don't know, I'm not measuring anything. Again, I'm not measuring anything. All right, so here's some basil, dried. Okay. And here's some oregano. Oops, let's move some things up. Here's some oregano. Let me go a little lighter on the oregano since this has such a strong flavor. Just not much. And some of my parsley. We get a whole handful of the parsley. <clears throat> See there? Kind of crumble it into there. Okay. Let's put the rest of this in there. So that's what we're working with. You know what? That doesn't look like nearly enough. I'm gonna go in with another handful of, I'm thinking two handfuls of parsley. Uh, a quarter handful of the oregano. And I don't know, maybe the equivalent of two to three tablespoons of dried basil. All right, that'll do. And then, we got our garlic. Got this at Oli, fresh, peeled, fine. Uh, I don't know. My mind says you don't need a lot. <laughs> That's a lot, huh? I don't know. What do you guys think? Am I doing too much? Let's cut it back. Let's cut it back. That might be too, too much. 
I didn't know, but you wanted garlicky, right? You know, we put some, yeah. Let's cut it back, let's cut it back a little bit. Maybe that much. All right, here's our garlic. I'm just gonna. I think that's good enough. Ah, oh, crud. <laughs> This is what we're working with. Let's see <clears throat> if I can give you a clue. The whole shebang. Is coming up to only the Miller leader line here. This one right here. That's everything. Doesn't seem like a lot, does it? I don't know, we'll find out. <laughs> and if it doesn't work, oh well. I got more herbs than, I don't even know, I don't, there, I got so many herbs. <laughs> because I grow so many. All right, so I think that'll do. And now, I'm thinking once again, I'm gonna go with a quarter cup of sugar to be safe. I don't know how much sugar, not even roundabout uh, vinegar has. Let's see. A little bit shy. Just a stitch over a quarter cup here. All right. I'll be back, I'll fill this with water. Water added, lid, so I can sh Anybody gonna have that stuck in their head now? <laughs> Besides me. <laughs> and the rim. All the way around, all the way around. Put that on. Ring, ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Set it on down. Nope, we're not on there right. There we go. Ta-da! We're ready to go, y'all. <clears throat> Another bit go. Woo! Okay. All right, guys, you still with me? <laughs> Two down, four to go. For this third vinegar, I thought we would try um, mushrooms. That was my idea, I think. I wanna do a mushroom vinegar, and then I'm just gonna chop them up, throw them in the jar with some sugar and water, and wrap it up. You guys, can you believe how easy this is? I'm super excited about this flavor, because again, mushroom was my choice, and it's one of my favorite foods. I eat it all the time. I love dehydrating it. I make my own mushroom parter. How fun would it be to have my own mushroom vinegar? Let's see. 
Okay, booze, here we go with the mushroom vinegar. I got myself some baby bellas. Um, I decided to put those other ones in the compost. <laughs> All I'm doing is just chopping these up because it's my feeling that the more surface area you have, the better the flavor. Under the nail. I just cut all my nails off. How could I get that under my nail? I didn't cut them short enough, huh? All right, it's got some dirt on it. I am gonna clean the dirt off of them if I see that, but I ain't gonna get crazy. There are some people who are washing their um, mushrooms and that's just not something I, I'm into. <clears throat> Go. I have a feeling this is going to get really gross, you know, because of the nature of mushrooms and them already being kind of, well, what I mean is it's going to get gross inside the jar. Like it's not going to be pretty. And even by the end of this, I'm assuming these mushrooms are going to be repulsive. One of the things I was thinking about is, you know, after I do this um, batch here, I'm going to begin making um, and seeing how these taste too. We got to do the taste test. I'm going to cut that little nubbin off with all that dirt. Um, after we do the taste test for this one, I'm going to really get into, I've already started two half gallons of the... Um, Uh, thyme and shallot vinegar. Because I'm thinking Christmas, y'all, already. I know, I know. I am, though. Because these things take time. And I don't have unlimited space to be making, you know, 15 jars of vinegar <laughs> and have them sitting around in my kitchen. Like, no. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. I don't know why I'm being so particular about how I'm cutting them. I don't think you need to do that. Just gonna last one here. And I'm just gonna But I mean I'm sure you could just go rat 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 and it's fine. Rat, 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 rat. There. If that's what you wanted to do, dump them all out and then just Beat at him like a monkey with a stick. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Mushrooms chopped. Uh, mushrooms. Another one that, to me, does not taste sweet. So we're going to go with another quarter cup of sugar. We got our organic cane sugar. Wait, where's it at? There you go. Oh my God, I might have done. It's a smidge more. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, organic cane sugar is not cheap. It's not. <laughs> it really isn't. It's, this is not, you know, your run of the mill white sugar. But you can get it at discount prices, like I did. I got mine from Aldi. Aldi's pretty cheap. If you gotta save a lot, that's another place you could try. 
Uh, let's go get some water in here. Ooh, all right, there's our super juicy mushrooms. Let's put the lid on, give it a shake, shake, shake. See if we can't dissolve some of that sugar. <laughs> I'm a goof. Okay. I mean, this isn't super important. I always do it, but the sugar will get ate. However, I do think that trying to dissolve some of it does aid in the process. All right. There they are, they are shook. Okay, mushrooms, I can't wait. What's that song? Oh, I can't wait, oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait, no, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, got plans. To... Who's singing that? Plans tonight, plans tonight. I can't think of it. Andre 3000, maybe? Dang. My memory is failing me. Okay, so we dried it off. Put that on. Get our little bit. Oh, that song. Oh, I got that in my head. Mm, can we not? Now I now want to dance. All right, she's ready. All right, next jar we got an old mango. An old mango. Put that in there. Um, I am not gonna take the skin off. I did rinse it off. I'm just gonna leave the skin on. God, that doesn't smell super great. I was gonna say, doesn't mango have a seed? Or something it's got a where is it okay it goes down the whole thing hmm. well I'm making this look real difficult ain't I Um, yeah, I'm not a big mango fan. I know, I know. I must be from another planet. Honestly, this big old chunk could go in there too. You know what? This can go in there. We're just going to call it mango scraps. We're putting the whole damn mango in there. Y'all hear me? Skin and all. Now, mango I know has some sugar in it. Um, so I guess I'll be putting, um, I'm going to go with, because this doesn't smell very mangly, which makes me believe it's not very sweet. It is organic, by the way. I got it from Misfit Market. Um... So I guess, I don't know, we'll do, I'll do, <sighs> four tablespoons of sugar. Um, Y'all don't go running out and doing this <laughs> unless you're willing to take a chance. I've already said this a number of times, but I'm gonna keep saying it. These are experiments. I haven't done this yet. I haven't tried making mango vinegar or mushroom vinegar i haven't tried this before these are this is me just doing stuff so that's pretty neat we just used the whole mango by the way, I get my half gallon glasses, jars from Amazon. They are about $3 less a pack there than they are at my local grocery, believe it or not. So Amazon it is. It's a necessary evil, I guess. 
I said, what, four tablespoons of sugar? Let's do it. We gonna do it, do it, do it. One. Two. Three. And four. I hope that's not too much. Cause like I said, you can kill it before it gets started if you add too much sugar to it. All right, and then let's get our water in here. All right. I apologize if I'm upsetting anybody by not giving like super detailed um, measurements, but I'm just not somebody who does that. I'm. I do a lot of cooking by feel and all that stuff, um, which is why, <laughs> probably not a shock to anybody who's listening to me, I'm not a great baker. <laughs> I am not. Although I do make a mean crock pot um, cheesecake. I don't know if that counts as being a baker, but it's good. All right, get on there, there we go. Mango, you done. All right, this next vinegar is ginger. And uh, um, carrot. I don't know. I was going to do two hands of ginger, but that seems like a lot, doesn't it? I don't know, but when you put it in there, it doesn't really amount to much. Look, you know what? Screw it. It's not like ginger is gold. It doesn't cost a whole heck of a lot. I am not, repeat, not taking the skins off. <clears throat> we leaving them skins on. There's our ginger, put that in the jar. Woo, my nose is still running from cutting them or from putting them peppers in there. Okay, carrot. I actually have some home canned carrots. Uh, in the fridge or, or uh, on the pantry on the shelf, but um, we're not gonna be using those. We're gonna be using these. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, not the whole bag. I'll, I think I'm gonna go with. I don't know. That's two thirds of the bag. We'll call it. There we have it. We used approximately two thirds of a 16 ounce bag of baby carrots, cut them into rounds. There's our ginger on the bottom. I'm gonna go with, I don't know. I do know that these things have a little bit of the sugar content. I don't know how much. So we're gonna go do like we did with the Mango. I'm going to put four tablespoons in and hope for the best. One. 
to ah. three, four. You could certainly use white sugar too, though, if you wanted to. I'm just using what I got. Again, I ain't going to the store. Oh, let me put, gotta fill it up, bro. There we go, ginger carrot. And there's my plastic lid. Oh, put our plastic lid on so we can shake it. <laughs> bingo bango all right let's clean her off wipe 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 boom oh look at that our ginger floated to the top and the carrots floated to the bottom all right let's get our coffee filter on there and the lid, snug as a bug. You rest to go. All right, y'all, I forgot what that sixth vinegar was supposed to be, so we're gonna use these. I was given these here, which are some fancy, what is that, Danju pears. Now, last time I did an apple pear, and that was one that the guys really liked. Oh, look at that. Mm, mama can't help it. Oh my God, that's so good. I almost don't want to even... Oh, that's good. Ooh. Maybe we can just get away with doing one. <laughs> This is bougie vinegar. Bougie! <laughs> you watching? <laughs> this vinegar is for you. <laughs> Boom. Danju pear. Okay, so. That was not crazy, crazy sweet, but that doesn't mean there's not plenty of sugar in there. So, like the others, I'm gonna go with four tablespoons. Of sugar. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if I did get this from, uh, this cane sugar from Aldi. This might have came from Walmart. All right, four. Okay, let me get some water. There we go, and then I'm just going to our lid on so we can give it a shake all right Whew. let's dry it off And I gotta shake, 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 
shake it off. Where's my lid? Ah, oh, dang. Shake, 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 shake it off. I'm gonna shake it off. Okay, oh, oops. Oh, come on. There we go. And Danju Pear, you're done, baby. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you. Those of you who are planning on coming along for this next vinegar making a uh, journey <laughs> and it is a journey because I hadn't done any of these I've already told you that three times now and I mean it I have no idea if these are gonna work I mean in theory they should I don't see why they wouldn't but you never know there could be something I'm not thinking about plus you know what they always say you don't know what you don't know <laughs> all right guys I really appreciate you following me and the great interest that's been had in these vinegar making videos I'm looking forward to coming back to you with some updates I'll do just like I did last time I'll bring back some um, updates I'm hoping to do that weekly same as I did the last time up until it's time to go ahead and filter them and then of course this time I'll be able to bring you along for the taste testing with all the guys by the way we have additional people coming for the taste test this time they enjoyed talking to the guys and seeing my videos and everything so much that they're like, listen, if you do that again, make sure you call me. I want to do it too. I'm like, ooh, okay. All right. So we're going to have some extra people this next time. That's about um, easily a month or two away, but I'm just giving y'all a heads up. So that'll be fun. And uh, let's get going on these. They are getting ripped right now. Now, the next thing I need to do, I think there's... Oh, there might be four, three or four more that I want to go ahead and get started. I'd like to give them, last time I gave them nine vinegars to try, and I would like to do that or better. So we got six growing right now, and I need three or four more. So we'll be doing another video for some uh, vinegar making here pretty soon. Um, and I wanted to tell you guys, because I don't think I mentioned this in the last video that I did regarding the um, vinegars that I made. <clears throat> In that uh, the last the last time uh, so I didn't know what I was gonna do with that blueberry vinegar because it was so strong but it was blue and I didn't know what to do with it I decided what I was gonna do with it and I've already started it um, next time if I have any vinegars in here in this batch that eh, not anybody's favorite I'll show you how to do what I'm doing right now which is I took that blueberry vinegar and I'm using it to make an extract so uh, from some herbs, an extract from some herbs. So um, I think that's coming along pretty well. I can't give you an answer as to how well it's gonna work or anything because it's not completed yet, but it's a coming along. I'm not having any problems just thus far. It's been uh, a little over two weeks. Um, so anyways, that is coming too. So lots to look forward to. Not to mention the garden is gonna start getting in the swing. I already got my seedlings going. I got new stuff out in the garden that needs to be seen. And y'all, there's just stuff and stuff and stuff and I can't wait. <laughs> All right, guys, I had fun today. I hope you did too. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.